Hello, magandang araw po at magandang uh, gabi man kung kayo po ay panahon ng oras ng panunod. Dumako naman po tayo sa ginagawa po nating pag-aaral o exhortations about prayer is life uh, topical series. So ang ibabahagi ko po sa inyo ngayon ay isang tao na masasabi natin hindi siya common na naririnig natin. So ang isi-share ko po sa inyo ay ang karakter na pangalang Ipapras. Ang pangunahing talata po na ating babasahin ay makikita po natin sa aklat ng Kolosas, Kabanata 4, talatang 12 hanggang 13. Pakinggan niyo po ang nakasaad. Ipapras, a member of, of our own fellowship and a servant of Christ Jesus, sends you his greetings. He always praised earnestly for you, asking God to make you strong and perfect, fully confident that you are following the whole will of God. So kung mababasa nyo rin po sa inyong screen ang Tagalog version, salamat sa kanyang salita. So ulitin ko, Ipapras is considered to be a man that in the entire Bible is usually being overlooked by many of us. You know, when I've learned to study his life as a follower, faithful, or disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, I found out that his character is worthy to emulate when it comes to evangelism, discipleship, and specifically in his prayer life. Now, let me just give you three, three points for us to determine sino nga ba si Ipapras. Una, mga kapatid, Ipapras was a fellow servant of Apostle Paul. No? Kamanggagawa po siya ng ating dakilang apostol. Mababasa po natin sa Pilipos, uh, sorry, sa Pailimon, Kabanata 1, Talatang 23. Ito po ang banggit. Kinakamusta kayo ni Ipapras na kasama kong nakabilanggo dahil kay Kristo Jesus. Sa madaling sabi, in spite of their situations, they know each other well. At the same time, they have a spirit of accountability in spite na sila po ay nakakulong. So, tandaan nyo po ha, isa sa karakter ni, ni Ipapras is nagkaroon siya ng intimate relationship sa ating dakilang apostol, Pablo, nung siya po ay nakakulong sa bansang Roma. Okay? That's the first character. Alam nyo po ba mga kapatid, that Apostle Paul, when he wrote a letter to the Colos- Colossians believer, alam po ba natin na hindi po talaga siya ang nagtatag ng iglesia doon? Secondly, hindi po talaga nakadati, nakarating si Apostol Pablo sa lugar na iyon. However, in the second missionary journey, during the time he was visiting the church in the place Asia Minor, specific, specifically in Ephesus, according to Acts chapter 19 verse 10, pakinggan niyo po kung paano ang nangyari historically. Acts 19 verse 10. This went on for the next two years so that the people throughout the province of Asia, referring to Asia Minor, both Jews and Greeks, heard the word of the Lord. In other words, upon the preaching of Apostle Paul, uh, Apostle Paul doon po nakarinig ang dalawang contemporary uh, servants na si Pailimon at saka si Ipapras. At mga kapatid, si Ipapras po lamang ang nagdadala ng mga letter from Apostle Paul to the Colossian believer. At the same time, Ipapras considered to be as the pastor of that church. So not just he was a fellow, a, ser- a servant of Apostle Paul. Secondly, ang makikilala natin siya is the faithful servant of the Lord. Hindi lamang fellow uh, servant ni Paul, but also a faithful servant of the Lord. Mababasa po natin sa Colossians chapter 1 verse 7. Ito po ang sabi doon. Natutuhan ninyo ito kay Ipapras, tapat na lingkod ni Kristo, mahal na kamanggagawa namin at kinatawan sa inyo. Nakita niyo po, he became a primary uh, representative in behalf of Apostle Paul. Mga kapatid, when we speak about servant, actually in Greek, he talks about dolos. You're familiar with this word, right? Dolos for Christ. And the word dolos, maybe in the eyes of the world, it is something, a word of degradation, a word of derusion. But you know, when Apostle Paul saying, as a faithful servant of Christ, 
he is saying that Ipapras, I am commending him for his faithfulness in the ministry. Yan po ang ibig sabihin. Now, para sa inyong kaalaman, if you, we, we, we will read in Colossians 1.7, sa English po, ito po ang mababasa natin. You learn about the good news from Ipapras, our beloved co-worker. He is Christ's faithful servant and he is helping us on your behalf. Brothers and sisters, the word learn there is something to do with matites. Siguro narinig nyo na yon. It means disciple. Ang salitang learn, meaning to say not just he heard the gospel upon the proclamation of Apostle Paul, but he also exposed in some various Bible studies and faithful discipleship. And that is the characteristics of a church growth or a, he or a healthy church. Dapat involved ka sa evangelism, dapat involved ka rin sa discipleship, at the same time, dapat merong kang Uh, merong nagme-mentor sa iyo. So, ano yung unang point na, na makikilala natin? He was a fellow servant of Apostle Paul. Secondly, he was a faithful servant of the Lord. And thirdly and last, mga kapatid, a fervent servant of the Lord. So, madali lang tanda, tanda no? Fellow, uh, faithful, at saka fervent servant of the Lord. Mapabasa naman natin sa Colossians chapter 4, verse 12. Ito po ang, pang, ang banggit natin which is talks about how Ipapras in his prayer and private life. Ipapras, a member of your, of your own fellowship and a servant of Christ Jesus, sends you his greetings. He always prays earnestly for you, asking God to make you strong and perfect, fully confident that you are following the whole will of God. So there are three distinct traits or characteristics of the prayer life of Ipapras. Mga kapatid, these exhortations will help us on how to pray intimately or how to pray earnestly, fervently, and confidently. So ano yung tatlong bagay na makikita natin according to Colossians 4, 12-13? Una, Ipapras, he prayed earnestly. Secondly, he prayed fervently. And lastly, he prayed confidently. Pag sinabi natin earnestly, according to uh, Warren verse B, something happens when God peoples begin to pray. I will repeat it again. Dr. Warren verse B, verse B tells us something happens when God's people starts or begin to pray. In retrospect, actually, nothing happens when the people of God stop praying. So, walang mangyayari kung patuloy tayong humihinto sa pananalangin. But when we pray thou, we see to it there will something happen because we are shaking in the throne of God, seeking and petitioning that Lord intercede us, Lord intervene unto us. So, una, ang ginawa niya is he prayed earnestly. Pag sinabi natin earnestly, it, is, it simply means with a sincere and intense conviction. He prayed with a sense of seriousness. Mga kapatid, are you familiar with those people na nagbabanggit tayo, how can we pray for you? Now tell me mga kapatid, if you are asking something, see to it, kapag nag-respond sila ng mga bagay na dapat natin ipinalangin, kamusta ba? Are you seriously taking it by heart? Talaga bang dinadalangin mo to in detail? Mga kapatid, alalahanin po natin. Isa sa matibay na batayan ng pagiging kristyano natin ay kung paano tayo manalangin. Palagi po natin sinasabi yan sapagkat bahagi na ng pagiging kristyano natin yan. Again mga kapatid, a prayer is like a breath of every Christian. If you are not breathing simply because you are not praying. Another thing when it comes to earnestly, This is a prayer marks with commitment and sacrifice for the sake of others. Alam niyo ang lagi ko pong sinasabi, what makes our prayer life healthy? Because you don't, uh, hindi mo na natututunan manalangin para sa sarili mo. Alam niyo, isa sa katangian ng natutunan ko when it comes to my prayer life, it teach me how to be selfless. You are always looking after to the welfare of other people instead of yourself. Amen? Ngayon, kung ganun ka naman na langin, kapatid, I praise God for your life. Ano yung unang ginawa niya? 
he prayed earnestly. Pangalawa, he prayed fervently. Notice ang sabi doon, God to make you strong and perfect. Pag sinabi natin fervently, mga kapatid, it simply means, it simply means, uh, with into, into you, enthusiastically or passionately. Pag sinabi natin enthusiastic, yung kapag nagpipray ka, hindi yung parang may halong antok, kumbaga nandun yung kagiliwan, kagalakan, pag sinabi mong passion, as if you are knocking the doors heaven for you to open and God will hear your prayer. When we say passion, it is something to do with the things you are habit to do. That's how fervent he is. Secondly, he is a person who believes to do the right things. He understood the character of God. He understand who is God. He is serving. Nakuha niyo po mga kapatid. Pag sinabi natin fervently, alam niya ang ginagawa niya at alam niya na ang panalangin niya ay maririnig ng Diyos. No wonder sa pangatlong katangian niya mga kapatid, he prayed confidently. Notice in verse 12 again, fully confident that you are following the whole will of God. In other words, when we speak about pray confidently in a self-assured expresses faith in one's self or one's ability or qualities. It is a way that expresses little or no doubt about something. In other words, mga kapatid, ano sabi ng Bible? It is impossible to please God and for those who come to God must believe that He is God. And what does the Bible says? That God will reward for those who diligently seek Him. Hebrews 4.16 You can see in your screen in in either version, alam nyo po ang sabi niya is ganto. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Oh, let me read with you in Tagalog so that you will be encouraged. Kaya't huwag tayong mag-atubiling lumapit sa trono ng mahabaging Diyos upang makamtan natin ang habag at pagpapala na tutulong sa atin sa panahon ng ating pangangailangan. Mga kapatid, may pangangailangan ka ba? Ilapit mo sa ating mahabaging Diyos. Ipapras holds the unique distinction among all the friends and co-workers of Apostle Paul. Did you know that even being only whom, whom, whom Paul explicitly commanded, alam po ba natin, yung, yung pinag-aaralan natin, Colossians chapter 2, 4, 12 to 13, this serves as a diploma to Epaphras in his prayer or intercessory ministry with Apostle Paul. And we do believe that he was so much effective for that. Mga kapatid, according to Les Harrington regarding Epaphras, maganda ang kanyang comment, uh, commentary. Epaphras grasped what many of us are slow to realize that the tactics of the Christian battle are born of the strategy of prayer. Mga kapatid, maraming nagaganap sa tuwing tayo ay nananalangin. Application, brothers and sisters in the Lord, when you see the unbelievers outside, they are busy in conforming to world worldliness. Okay lang. Kasi wala silang pagkakilala at relasyon sa Diyos. But you know what the problem is? When you see believers, ikaw at ako na nakikinig ng, ng exhortations na ito. All around the world, you know that our primary problem is prayerlessness. You see the comparison? The unbelievers is worldliness. The Christians are prayerlessness. In essence, we have nothing to compare to them. In short, wala tayong pinagkaiba sa kanila. Not praying simply means equates to conformity of the unbelievers of the world. Because we had done nothing impacting the heart of the Father, why He called us to meditate, to intercede in behalf of the world, not conforming to the world. Mga kapatid, our primary duty, why we keep on exhorting this about the value, the essence, and the power of prayer. You know why? Because again and again, we are knocking the door of heaven. As a challenge, naiiwanan ko po sa inyo, mga kapatid, are you like Ipapras? To be honest, how much time you really invest in your prayer life? Kamusta ba talaga ang buhay pananalangin natin, mga kapatid? If you will be graded today, do you think you will be passed? Hopefully not. 
and hopefully this will encourage you to pray harder. Brothers and sisters, it is man's responsibility to ask, but always it is God's responsibility to give what we ask. My brethren, the, the truth of the matter is, it is not the answered prayer that the problem actually. It is the most of the time the offered prayer. Why? Because we have wrong motive. motive wrong, uh, meron tayong mga maling paghingi, maling uh, motibo galing sa puso, that leads into desire and selfishness. So as I close, whenever we pray, ask God to align into His will, not our own. Many people lead us. Never understand the power of prayer. Sense of God, never, never. So start to pray for others. Be like Ipapras. So mga kapatid, hopefully, be like Ipapras. Thank you, God bless, and always keep safe. God bless.